Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to an episode of Derail Valley. Um, today we are going to be looking at the power of steam and what you can do with it. Um, and, you know, if you use it right, you can actually get quite the accomplishments. Um, today we are going to be checking out uh, the coal mine line. And we're going to be hauling 880 tons up. It might seem like a lot, but it is possible. I've done it once. And you just gotta know how to do it. And uh, in this uh, this tutorial, I will uh, show you guys the ins and outs and how to do it. And uh, yeah, so as you see, it can, it's, it's getting a bit better weather. It was raining. Uh, that's one thing you gotta watch out for is rain. Rain will kill your steam locomotive in an instant. You do not want to haul, haul heavy with the rain because this thing will slip and you will not be able to haul tonnage so what we're gonna do is uh, brakes are already released um, now I'm not sure if you need to do this but I do recommend to back your train up as far as you possibly can preferably all the way down to that buffer over there just so you can get a, a running head start so that's what we're gonna do here and this is Derail Valley Simulator. If uh, you guys don't know, the major update has released. Um, actually, tomorrow is going to be exactly a month since it's released, so it's actually quite cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's been drying up. The, the ground's been drying up. Um, that's kind of what I've been waiting for. I really don't like using this thing when it's raining, or at least hauling tonnage when it's raining, because it's really annoying. Yeah. Okay, that might explain a few things. But yeah, basically the, the biggest thing when you're hauling something like this is your steam generation you need to you gotta, you gotta like have a special way with the cutoff wheel um, so I, I did get a few tricks um, from the discord the official alt feature discord and um, basically this is max power so you're gonna be using the most steam but however about till the halfway point which is around like there you get maybe like 10% less power, but you get drastically less steam. So you'll see me actually around the halfway point, if not a little bit less, um, going up the grade. Now, the main part of the grade is not a problem. However, the last little section is will kill your train. It, it'll It'll make you stall out so easily if you don't know what you're doing. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's what I'm most worried about. I've only done this once, mind you. So it is entirely possible that I fail this. I am on my realistic save. So I got hardcore save, uh, saving enabled and everything pretty much enabled. All right. Oh, yeah. And uh, don't forget to turn on your lubricator. I forgot to turn that stuff on. And the dynamo back on. And I think, yeah, that was already enabled. That's one thing you guys gotta watch for. If you don't want to have a big ass debt of uh, power train failure stuff, then you wanna make sure you have your lube on. And uh, another thing is you'll want to have your fire fed constantly. You want your uh, fire temperature to be above a thousand almost constantly because um, basically you want your your fire temperature above a thousand because you want your steam pressure to be around where it is there constantly if it goes below 12 you're probably gonna stall on the the main part of the grade um, which is just what it is so we still can go further back now, I want to get this run complete before uh, nightfall because I prefer if uh, I could do that just because I don't really want to film in the night because 
you know, it's kind of hard to see on videos and also on, um, on mobile, particularly, it's hard to see. And so we're going to do a little bit of that. Now, that should be fine. We'll see, we'll see. I still need to go back to redeem the job offer. Now, before we go, you want to make sure you have your draft in the full upright position. That means the most air is getting to your fire, and that's going to burn the hottest. Make sure to have your water topped off. Alright, so that's topped off. Now we're going to go back. Um, I'm pretty sure where we are is probably fine. Mm, you know what? Actually, we'll come back anyways. I, I don't want to take any chances. The first time that I successfully actually did it, I was pretty much fully backed up, so... We'll just, uh, we'll come back the rest of the way. One thing that does annoy me about this game mode is the jump dashing system. You cannot jump very far. But it is what it is. I really do like this uh, EOT marker light that they added. But yeah, we want to get this butt end of the train as close to that uh, buffer as we can. We're st we still got a little bit ways to go, so we'll give her a little bit more power. Now, I'm pretty sure an extra coal car might be possible if you try and take, um, well, how many tons is it per car? I think it's, I think it's 80 tons, per yeah, it's 80 tons per car, I, th I think. So, that would be 960 tons. So, I mean, yeah, I think that probably would be possible. You just have to, like, get a perfect run, I think, if you wanted to try that. So that should be good there. We'll just uh, let it go the rest of the way until it's stopped. Time bonus is not that big of a concern, because, you know, they get, uh, after simulator update, they, they give you so much time to complete this stuff, so... We're just gonna redeem it now. So 880 tons, 63 minutes complete. We are good to go. And we got all of our handbrakes knocked off. Alright, so this is where the magic starts. So basically, as soon as I start getting going, you're gonna see me come back on the cutoff wheel. We wanna make sure we don't wanna be in the corner till the very last moment of this run. Until then, we'll have pretty much in the middle, a little bit less. Alright, so, okay, good, let's just uh, feed this fire a little bit more before we get going. Alright, there we go. Fully good. We'll be in the corner just to start off. Alright, now let's see if, uh, Go in the full corner. It's okay if you use sand because you only have this initial climb and then uh, it's downhill the rest of the way. So the car's knocked off. Come back on the wheel. We're fully on the full on regulator. We'll crack that open a little bit. Come back a little bit more on that. We do not want to be wasting steam. That's the last thing we want to do right now, is waste steam. We did redeem that order, so that's good. That fire fed. Alright, we want to make, we want to gain as much speed as we get, and if that we can. We'll keep the uh, cutoff wheel there, just for the time being. If you hear the safety, 
you're doing good. But uh, if, if you start slowing down too much, then you add a little bit of cut off. You just want to kind of balance your speed out with the steam generator. You don't want to be losing steam, but you don't want to be slowing down too fast. So. We should be able to hit 40 pretty easily. this uh, tutorial just be sure to comment down below uh, if you want to see more you can definitely do some more email valley stuff kind of where it kind of levels off a little bit. This isn't the section where you will uh, start putting more cut off, but it's gonna start going a little bit faster. There are some very steep grades. I'm pretty sure um, at the very last section goes like something like four or five percent. It's, it's really absurd, so you really need to uh, power through that. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm on the hardest difficulty, so this is kind of like the maximum. Right, let's keep this fire fed, get this water going. So you can see, let's uh, go one more kick of uh, cutoff. You see, I'm not fully in the corner right now. You want to save that till the last uh, minute, because if we uh, do that too soon, then we'll lose all our steam and we'll uh, stall out on the grade. So this is this is kind of the point where you uh, start leveling off. Pick on sand if you need to. So now we're fully in the corner. We got maximum power. See that area over there? After you turn that corner, this this is kind of like where it levels off, but after that corner, you need to gain as much speed as you can, otherwise you're going to stall in the grade. See, it goes to 0.9%. That's where it levels off, and we'll be picking up speed. We want to strive for 25 kilometers an hour. If we can get uh, past that, we should be good. Let's see, we got a big ass load behind us. 
this is this should be the point where we're starting to speed up here. We want to keep this in the corner the whole time until we until we reach the summit. You can hear that we're starting to speed up. We're not going to back off on that. Not the whole time, because right there, pretty much where my cursor is, or where the middle of my screen is, where that dot is, that's where it starts going to steeply. I can only imagine it's like 4 or 5%. Like, it's really steep. So we want to hit at least, um, actually, we need to hit 30. Now that I think of it. Last time I hit 30, I remember that. Not 25. Keep this fire fed. As long as we can get to 30, which it looks like we are, we should be able to clear this. We'll We'll get down to like 10 uh, kilometers an hour or less, so it uh, is quite scary per se, but it is possible. You can see, you can hear that. Now, now we're starting to chug a little bit. We're bottom, we're we're, we're going to be going pretty slow in a minute here. But we should clear the summit because we uh, applied all of the techniques. If you want to call them that? This is my second time, keep that in mind. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Now we're, you see we're leveling out, so our water level has come down, so I'm going to start refilling that. So we're really chugging now, but we, we're, we're at the summit now, and now stuff should uh, speed up here. That's how you do it. That's how you get to uh, conquer the hills. <clears throat> if you want to get up with uh, 880 tons or possibly 960 tons, you just uh, apply these methods and uh, you should be able to conquer it. It just uh, takes a little bit of practice. I have to admit, I uh, recorded um, videos multiple times of me trying to um, go up this hill with uh, the same amount of weight uh, before I knew those tips and tricks. So uh, it definitely takes practice. So that's uh, definitely something you need to do if you want to master the, uh, the steam locomotive. It definitely requires practice. So if you don't get it the first time, don't uh, don't be um, upset or discouraged, you know, it just requires persistence, you know, you just gotta make sure you keep on trying, and then you should be able to conquer any hill. So, at this point, you can probably just put the damper all the way down to be completely honest. You're not gonna need any sort of steam generation. We're gonna kick on a little bit of brakes just to make sure, and uh, the steam generation there, you don't need very much, so we still need some so we don't explode the boiler. We're just going to try to maintain 50. I know it, uh, the speed limits are higher, it's just I don't really want to go those speeds, just to be sure. You can never be too sure of this stuff. This is pretty much just a downhill from here. So, first initial uh, thing is a climb, and then all the way down to the steam mill is just a, uh, a descent. So, a lot of the, most of the journey really is just controlling your speed as to oppose um, <clears throat> the, the initial climb is I need speed rather than. twice, so it definitely is a method you can apply, um, and if I can, I might actually try it with, um, I might actually try it with 960 tons, just to see if it's possible, because I would like to, to beat that record, or at least get close to 1,000 tons, because I, I can do 1,034 tons. 
side of the harbor, uh, which is pretty nice. I just don't know if it's possible to eat similar amounts of weight out of uh, the coal mine. I imagine it would be pretty difficult out of the uh, coal mine. You also gotta think that the coal mine is a long, treacherous climb while the harbor is sort of just short. It's a really short climb. It's, it's nothing too crazy. The, my opinions on the simulator update is that they really did a good job. I really enjoyed the, uh, the simulating, simulation part, you know, especially the Steam simulation. The Steam simulation beforehand was just kind of meant to me. I, I would like take the steamer like out like every once in a while, but now I use it almost like constantly when I'm playing this game. Like I rarely take out the diesels anymore. <laughs> Just kind of not like me. Like I'm usually a die-hard diesel fan. Like I really enjoy those uh, diesel locomotives, but this game just it, it it does steam differently. It it does it true. I suppose is a good way of saying it. They re really replicate it good in the game. So I think that's why I like it so much. <clears throat> the only uh, downside about the it's kind of hard to find a heavy weight for the steam locomotive, but still possible to do with it. Because, you know, a lot of times it'll spawn like 500 ton jobs, or it'll spawn like 1200 ton jobs. So it, it, there's like no like middle grounds. Like, there's, there's no like in between. Well, there is, but it's very rare. Like, I had to like teleport back and forth between the uh, goods factory and coal mine like ten times to get this job, which is unfortunate, I'd say, but not much I can really do about it. Sixties on here, so we'll just we'll just coast. We'll just let it uh, go on its own. Not too worried about it. And now we got a forty zone. So it's not. Too terrible because we are pretty much going for it. But uh, we also gotta worry about right shore being like there and now. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure if these brake shoes can fail or something. That's that I have no idea if that's possible. I hope not. So my train could go on without or like without any brakes. It could completely screw me over. I believe somewhere up here is a, a flat piece of ground, so I should be able to let my brakes go down a little bit.
guessing B3I. Yep. That usually seems to be the uh, usual place that you put them, at least for the long trains. For the short ones, it's usually A6I. Well, I don't want to say usually, but it, it is possible for A6I to be a uh, possibility for the short ones. Looks like our brake shoes have uh, cooled down now, so they should be we're still gonna just let it post though. It looks like I got out just in time because it's starting to rain. <clears throat> just uh apply light brakes here. I don't want to go overboard. This does seem to be relatively flat ground. As you can see, we are slowing down the volume of the bar, so So 6.0 is also a good locomotive. I, th I think the max you should probably take on it is 450 tons in most areas. It's still kind of uh, finicky taking more than that. Or even equal to that uh, in some areas. Falling up ahead. Should be mostly through that uh, switch now. 
we'll just let her coast down. We'll uh, coast in the corner as per the normal operations. I'm not sure if that's the proper operation, but uh, I saw somebody say that that's the proper operation. Is that Heist maybe? I, I don't remember. All I remember is some YouTuber saying that that was proper um, eroding. <clears throat> I think it might have been Heist. So, this is a 60 zone, so we'll just let her coast all the way down to 60. This kind of, this, this area I'm confident in uh, driving fast. Those kind of mountain ranges I'm not so confident in uh, driving quick on course. That's kind of sketchy to me. But this stuff here is, is fine. The water is looking good. The fire should be looking good. We're going to need steam anyways, so. That draft. We'll, uh, we'll take that off because we're going to need a reg uh, regulator at some point here once we get onto the flat ground. It's probably like one and a half bars or so. Great. Just control our descent.
some steam, so we're, we're doing good. Not that steam really matters at this point. We're pretty much done with the uh, climbs. The only climbs we gotta... I don't even think we have to worry about it, but uh, the only climb there is is once we uh, pass this uh, next bridge going into this uh, steel mill, but that's probably not the big concern. service the locomotive after that, but uh, as for the actual climbing part, uh, I think that tutorial serves pretty well. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this, um, and I hope you guys found it informative, uh, and hopefully you can apply this to your own gameplay too, if you're not too experienced in the steam locomotives. But yeah, if you guys like this, uh, make sure to uh, like it, and uh, maybe post a comment uh, saying if it helped you or not, and maybe I'll post some more tutorials. Uh, I could see the TM3 needing a tutorial, so I, I might do that if you guys want, but uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it. Let's go redeem this job, and uh, we'll, we'll end it there. So that's that's how you uh, transport 880 tons. You could probably do uh, 960 tons um, with this same method, I would assume. Um, I, th I think you could probably carry the momentum up successfully with that. Oh yeah, I always forget that. That's that's the one thing I always forget is to put the handbrake on. But I hope you guys found this informative and uh, hope we enjoyed it. But that's pretty much all for me today. Um, that's how to uh, do that kind of weight. Anyways, that's all for me guys. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.